The Long Haul Podcast, America's Irish Voice. Interviews with inspiring immigrants, renowned Irish personalities, and discussions on all things Irish America. So I'm here with Mike Brosnan and Brendan Cole after the 2021 New York Senior Football Championship Final. Uh, Barron was with the win, putting back-to-back wins together. Uh, Mike, uh, tell me how the game went. You kind of went behind at the start. Sligo had a good start, but she showed a bit more maturity this year. Would you say you're after growing a lot? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, um, we knew uh, we knew Sligo were going to come at us. You know, after the loss last year, we knew we were going to be under pressure, and they were going to come at us with everything. So, uh, um, you know, we knew Johnny was inside full forward. He was going to be a handful to start with. So, uh, we, we had lads back there, and you know, uh, it took us. 10 or 15 minutes to get it under control but I thought we did after that you know and from there on I thought we kept the, the scoreboard ticking over you know keep taking points you know we kept telling the boys you know put the ball over the bar put the ball over the bar you know we'll we'll get there we'll get there don't worry about it you know we knew we had a great bench which was you know we we made big emphasis on that you know we forgot training and everything you know we had 22 23 lads you know so we knew we had a bench so we were asking the boys brendan as captain and that you know to give us what you have for be it fucking 30 minutes 40 minutes you know give us what you have and we come back in you know and that's how it worked out and i thought the bench played a huge role finishing up so uh, listen that's the way it goes i thought you know I thought we outlasted them, and you know, but that's a great Sligo team. We were lucky to get over it last year. You know, again, if Johnny didn't get injured, I suppose you know it would be a lot fucking closer too. But you know, so but we'll take it. Yeah. I'll put it that way to you. How much did last year play on your mind that you you won last year and you're they were coming back? It was a good setup, a good kind of a revenge match, if you like. Uh, you won, of course, after extra time. Uh, this year, then it was maybe a more settled championship. Was there extra emphasis on? Uh, uh, making sure you got over the line this year. Uh, absolutely, uh, you know, uh, we gave a speech, you know, after the game last year, you know, after winning the game last year, and Johnny, who's not here, I don't know, he's getting away a light here tonight anyway, so, but Johnny said, you know, uh, it takes a good team to win it, it takes a great team to come back and win it to yeah. them, you know, so, um, that's, uh, listen, and there's great credit to he's not around, but uh, Johnny McGinney, what, what he has done for this team is is off the charts. I mean, uh, he's a, he's got a young family, three young kids, uh, and he's above in Paddy's field. And, you know, to say, to quote uh, Dave Hannon, who's down there, you know, uh, uh, you know, he keeps telling us that championships are fucking won in Paddy's field, you know, and I, I honestly believe that. So, you know, so... Here, it is what it is here, but above a training, you know, that's where it's won. And we get great numbers of training. And Brendan will tell you about some of the yeah. some of the games we've had above a training between the junior Bs and the junior A's and the seniors, you know. Some of the games are tougher than the games you'll get here yeah. in the park. So yeah. it's that's that was huge for us, like, you know, huge for us. Of course, you made it's history again this year. Uh, of course, last year was history, the first All-American team to win it. And now back-to-back, Brendan here is an example of uh, the American. How many Americans? We're starting today. Yeah. Uh, Francis, me. They were all. It is easier to call who wasn't. Oh, well, yeah. The only Mono, person that Mono, wasn't Mono, starting Mono, was Mono. Mono. From, uh, he, and he was actually American born. Oh, went so back to Ireland. Mono, so he's technically yeah. American. But. Yeah, so they were all. They were all. <clears> yeah. Again, so, yeah. So tell me about yourself, Brendan. You're ca- captain this year. Obviously, a great honour to represent your club. Where are you from? And tell me about your upbringing and your your association, your Irish association at home. So I'm from Queens. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My parents come from Monaghan, uh, okay. Tome, and um, there was lots of summers growing up where we'd spend every summer in, you know, Monaghan and. We train with my dad's team back home, and you know you kind of just get this development while you're going back there every summer, and you keep you training with them, and you know, kind of brings you more experience coming back to New York Minor Board. I mean, everyone in New York Minor Board done a great job ever since I was young to now of like getting boys to stay at it because you know there's a lot of other sports that people end up going yeah. and playing, and you know a lot of people it takes a lot of dedication from management to get onto these boys because. Uh, there is a lot of other sports, and you know sometimes boys do fade away to other sports. But you know, there's ones that stick around. That you know, they they love it. 
Yeah. What, what, yeah, what is it about you? You're, you have a core group and you're staying together, and I can see that bond between you and all American. It's it's yeah. different to see, but it's great. Also, great to see. Yeah. So a lot of the boys we played, <clears throat> either we played against or we played with growing up. I mean, myself, I played with uh, again. I played with my brother, obviously, my twin brother Francis. I played against Connor growing up. You know, Tiernan growing up. Played against Mikey growing up because that was the New York Celtics growing up, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't Barnabas growing up, but 16. It's the under 16s. We joined together with Barnabas, and that's how I got this tie with Barnabas. And you know, we played against Shannon Gales, and you have three Shannon Gales guys on, and we played against Rockland. I mean, and you play against everybody that it's on the team, or you played with them. So the core of guys, because we go all go back to Ireland, and we play with New York, you know, development, all that. It's <clears throat> the bond between the boys is very, very tight, and in order, and that's what kind of helps us in senior now because you know we're all such good friends. We've grown up together, you know, and in order to achieve what we've been achieving, it's a great honor to be, you know, representing Americans anywhere, you know. And how old, how old are you? I'm 24. I just turned 24. Yeah. And do you think this today? Well, what's going to be the future for this team? Is it three in a row? Uh, like it is hard for you to stick together, but like, are, are we going to have like a a, Barn a, a Barnabas just ten year uh, domination? You won the league, of course, this year as well. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> that's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> no, obviously it's the plan, but you know, the likes of Sligo, the likes of Brooklyn, Westmeath coming up. They're all great teams. They're all great teams. So obviously we got our work cut out for us, but you know, obviously the plan is with the boys coming up through the uh, minor board right now, we'll just keep growing and growing and getting stronger and stronger. And that's, you know, we hope to stay up here and we hope to stay winning for a long time. What are going back to the game? What are your thoughts on the game today? Of course, the Sligo went ahead, uh, won five, I think, to, up to no score. Johnny, of course, was causing havoc there in front of you in the full full forward line, which he managed to kind of settle the ship. And uh, uh, as Mikey was saying, that you kept t uh, knocking the ticking the scoreboard over. Yeah, <clears throat> Johnny Glenn's an animal. You know, <clears throat> the guy he made some all unreal catches in the beginning. I mean, you saw that. We kind of started off slow. We kind of were just like. You know, dead in the water in the beginning. But, you know, when they went up five, we, when we went to water break, we kind of were like, all right, let's go, you know. These guys are here to play. You know, they're not messing around. So we kind of made the adjustments that were necessary. And um, <clears throat> obviously we got the win, but, you know, Johnny, Johnny did, he played well, in fairness. And, he, and unfortunately he got hurt. You know, maybe if he stayed on the whole game, it would have been a something, it would have been different. But that's the way it goes, you know. You came out in the second half, you just r ran at them, it seemed to be a different mentality at, at halftime. What did you say to the lads at halftime? Well, we, we probably knew, like, uh, we have a lot of training done. We started last January above in the gym over over in the Bronx, you know, so um, we started and we've been going since last January and the, the numbers we've been getting, so we knew we'd be there, you know, just stay in there, stay in it, stay in it, stay in it, and we knew we'd be there at the end, so... Listen, we, we knew we had the, the fitness and we knew we had them handle the players. Again, I, I can't emphasize the bench enough, you know, that coming off the bench, you know, you need 20, 23, or four players just to win games today, whether it's here, whether it's home, you know, you see it yesterday in the All Ireland, nothing's changes, you know, you need you need that amount of players to win a game anymore. So, listen, we knew the second half, uh, we, we we got it close, we were down, what, I think two points at half time. So, we knew we knew coming coming into the second half that that we might have the legs in them finishing up, you know, so we knew we had a good bench and um, that paid off, I thought that paid a huge part in the second half. Like so. to, <clears throat> they emphasise fitness all year. I mean, ever since January we were running 5Ks, we were running sprints, you know. It, it sucked, but <laughs> obviously it panned out to be, you know, in our favour. You know? Tell me about the training, is it, is it, do you train twice a week up in Paddy's Field and obviously doing a bit of strength and conditioning beforehand, but like when, when you got into real championship season, is it twice a week you're going and you're getting big numbers with the junior team? Yeah, so you, get, you usually get about 30 people at training minimum, so <clears throat> yeah, when it's twice a week, usually depending on junior B, junior A, senior schedule, so we try to work around all that so we get all the boys there. But it's usually Tuesday, Thursdays, twice a week, and then we'll do a run on the weekend. You know, just clock in a run, 5K, just to keep our legs, you know, going, keep fitness up. But um, 
yeah, we, we're grateful to have three teams because you always get intense trainings. And Johnny's done a terrific job this year with training, keeping us fit and working on ball skills the whole lot. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, lads. For the latest New York GA match reports and other Irish American sports news, check out the Longhaulpodcast.com.